All right, we are doing this. Hello, welcome to the stream. Somehow, some way, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be crazy. So, we have, I'm playing Crypt of the Necro Dancer. And I guess it's best like this, right? And chat, can you hear me? Is anyone watching? Zero people watching. Well, I hope some people join me. I'm gonna play Crypto the Necro Dancer with the dance mat and see if I can play this. So I, I set up my webcam the best I can. And I need to play really close to my screen because it's not a big TV. So you gotta move things a bit. And I need to move the webcam. Gonna need to move the webcam. Or will I? Yeah. Right, not too bad. Ah. This is how to set up. Let me tell you. I need to not run over my cables while playing. And looks like we are good. Is the stream working? I need to check. Alright. Let's see if I can play this properly. So for those who don't know, this game, it's like, a, it's mostly a roguelike. But you happen to play everything in rhythm. And the aim is just to explore the map, kill the monsters and go to the next floor. But you get basically one move per turn of the music. And usually you play that with a keyboard. But because of the whole thing where it's rhythm based, you can actually play it with a dance pad. And it's, uh, it's, oh, oh. So dance pad mode is much easier than regular mode. Because you get strong items right from the start. And the broadsword is pretty invaluable, I think. And here's the shop, I can buy some stuff. I can buy some armor. How much money do I have? I have 21. And so the interesting thing about this game, I mean there's plenty, is that it has a whole combo system. When you kill an enemy, it, uh, it raises your combo counter to two, which basically doubles the amount of money you will get from pretty much everything. But if you miss a beat like I just did here, Sun. Then your combo drops down to one, and it goes up to three. I'm not sure what the requirements are to get three combos. We've got a dragon here, and I'm a pro at this game, so I can kill the dragon without getting hit, even on the dance pad. And uh, okay, uh, do I have a bomb? I have a bomb, so I can bomb this with that. And to get the glass shot. That's terrible. I do not want to buy anything made out of glass. There's a diamond here. Whew! I'm gonna pause this and just see if things are working. Five people watching. Is the stream working out? Mm, I can't watch it, but I guess you guys can. 
be sure to use chat because uh, I like to have breaks to talk with you sometimes. Okay. So I accidentally pressed like up and left at the same time. And that cast fine. No, it's my torch. I have a magic torch or something like that. So I can't break this crate, but if I recall, I can push it onto those spikes and yeah, get them back. So things you can do, you can dig the dirt blocks. Okay, so we got the boss of this floor, which is this golden bat. Far easier than the dragon. The interesting thing. Well, there's tons of interesting things. I need to stop saying this every second, but it seems that I'm used to playing with the with my tiptoes, as in standing on them. And it's not fruitful. Ring of defense, ring of protection is the name. Okay? There's some secret thing here. Come on. A bomb. So I keep losing my combos. Oh, my mouse card cursor is on the game. Let's have a break. Because it's surprisingly tiring. No chat, no chat. Oh, well. Oh, that's a mimic. I got quartz armor. I don't know how about it does. So I have a... Oh, monkey. Kill the monkey. I have a healing spell on the down right. So your spells recharge as you kill monsters. So I, I can't see right now, but if I kill a certain number of monsters, my heal spell will recharge. So here's our boss. Ah. He hit me. He hit me. That's okay. So killing the boss opens the opens the door to the next floor. This is a ghost type enemy that I really annoying. Zombie is very dangerous. So now, yeah, I've killed the boss, so... Oh, let's have a look at the shop. How much gold do I have? 220. Uh, holster lets me have two weapons. So, if I ever find another weapon, we can use that. Here's another monkey. A lot of this game is identifying movement patterns of your enemies and attacking them in a smart way. What's that? Glass? Ignore terrain. Nah, it it's probably dangerous. <sighs> Surprisingly tiring. Uh, let's end this floor. King Konga! King Konga. Oh, I skipped this animation. This is our boss for the fourth floor, so. The game has five zones. Oh yeah, I remember. Two, three, four, five, six, stop! One, two, three, four, five, six, stop! One, two. I'm playing this completely wrong. Feet ache. Continue. Uh, let's return to lobby. And I'm off the camera. And I'm uh, sure play to run. So maybe what I can do, what I can do is I alternate between regular runs and crazy. <laughs> dance map runs. Let's do that. So I will uh, turn the webcam off. Buy a webcam. Now play a normal run. See if I still have some amount of mastery in this game. And doing that, I should be smart and change the audio. So give me a sec. Um, 
Okay. Well, maybe we should. I need to switch from my headphones to go well, from the speakers to my headphones, but the game is not allowing me to do that for some reason. Do that. But if I turn the game off and on again, that will work. Let's do that. Ooh, bla black s stream screen. But you can still hear me. So. Just give me a sec. Turn the game on. This game takes years to load, which is great. Which is just great. Also, it loads in full screen mode, and I'm going to have to change the resolution manually. Ah. Oh, well, experiments. Experiments, I tell you. So the reason, reason we're going through this rigmarole is that I have to not use my right hand too much because I hurt it by over-practicing music. And uh, yes, that is a terrible thing. So, graphical, remove full screen. So you're gonna see weird stuff right now. You will see weird stuff because the resolution is wrong. And I gotta fix it. There you go, now you should see the correct things, okay. Uh, we can have a normal run. Uh, I'm going to play with my left hand because of what I to just told you. And let's go with all zones. Oh, I've got a diamonds to spend. I don't really care. So that's a full run of the game. So now I don't have OP equipment like I had before. So the red bat moves every turn. Hmm. I've got an ice spirit. What is that? I don't know what ice spirit is. Skeletons like this move once every two turns. Green slimes don't move. Blue slimes move in this simple pattern one in two turns. And so the thing is, ooh, I heard you. The thing is, if an enemy walks into you, it basically hits you. Breaks your combo. So you lose money and you lose health, of course. So you gotta kite them properly. Like that. So skeletons, the black skeleton has three health points. That's a general rule in this game. Most enemies come in three variants. And the, it goes like, no, whoops, skipped a beat. Somehow, oh, here's a dragon. The, the green dragon moves once every two turns, so he's easily kited. The more advanced dragons also move every two turns, but uh, but they got some more special attacks. All right, and if you got time, you should look around the stage for secret places. We haven't seen the shop, which is probably at the top left, but we don't really need. So let's just go. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de do 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 So there's something over here. Magic vision, but breakable, because it's the glass torch. Okay, so the red spirit things, they they chase after you, and they move every turn. But if you move towards them, I think they start going the other way, something like that. Maybe I got them confused with something else. Here's our Minotaur friend. So he kind of crashes into the wall like that. But you can... He So when he starts chasing you, he doesn't change direction. So you, force, you can force him to crash into the wall. 
and then you can spam attacks to him. So there's a, some shrine here. So it costs me all my health, but it gave me this blood shovel, which I really don't want. So that sucks. Well, I mean, it allows me to dig anything, but I will take damage. So there's a giant slime. I guess enemies have giant variants. I mean, it's a road like. And I really need to find a heart right now. So we need to find ourselves a shop. Wraiths. And uh, finding a shop is number one priority, really. Skip to beat, so I'm not sure if it's because I'm... Oh, I've got a blood sword as well. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, then we're fine. I've got this, uh, like, longsword rapier. I got the rapier. Uh, and, as you can see, the top left. And blood, blood weapons, what they do is every five kills, maybe, they heal you. Also, the interesting thing is that this rapier... It has a range of two. So more range than the basic dagger. And if you attack from the double range, then what happens is that you do two damage. So most most weapons have variants, all weapons probably, of different materials. This, I can purchase a random thing. I'm pretty rich. I don't have a ring. Let's buy a ring. Ring of Pain. What does it do? Except hurting me. Golden Axe. No. High damage after gold pickup. Oops. Plus one dig. Infinite damage after dig. Well, that sounds fun. Really? Is inf infinite? Battle Shovel, huh? So I need several kills to heal. What was that? There was something. I guess that's the pain thing. If I kill, oops. So if you press two directions accidentally, then stuff happens. Something happened which made me attack the other skeleton. What? It's a fake shrine? That exists. I will gladly take this armor. So here's a red dragon. So he can probably break the rocks. But his, his thing is that he breathes fire if you're in front of him. But I was never in front of him, so whatever. So I, I'm skipping beats for some reason at some points. That's okay. Ah. Not skipping too many beats. King Kong again. So there's six or so bosses in this game. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be easy. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. There you go. And if you beat a boss without getting hit, you get a free chest at the end. I got to choose one of these. I like what I have, so I'm going with a purple chest, which is like magic items. That's a spell. Raise walls? That's weird. And there's plots, but we missed the beginning of the plot, so we might as well just skip everything. Another red dragon, huh? So here's the f red dragon. So I really don't know what the pain effect is. And that's too bad, but... Ooh, carrot. So carrot is just a healing item, probably. But I'd rather have my ice spirit familiar, huh? Sounds like it could be interesting. So, so yeah, the wizard uses a wind spell to to attract me 
giant wizard. He gives me a giant ex scroll of gigantism. There's going to be bombs over there. So scrolls, you know, as expected in this kind of game, they let you use the spell they represent once. But you can probably learn the spell or get the spell. Here's a shop. So the shopkeeper always sings like an idiot like that. Uh, there's nothing really interesting in this, so let's just move on. Uh, why did this trap not proc? I wonder, and I'm not sure. Let's just go. The mud is annoying. So I'd rather not get those coins. So I'm not sure what the rule precisely is with regards to to uh, to what? Though to shields on skeletons. This is how you kill this guy. Ooh, a, a fake me. Also fake grass. Well, hedge. Can I dig this? I sure can. Potion gives you an extra life. So, really strong. Oh. So we got our boss. It's a nightmare. I think there's a pun. Because it's, it's a mare, but it's also of night. Most generic pun, really. So I have no clue what the pain effect is, except that I do tons of damage. Now I got black skeletons. So, okay, we just found out. The rule is... You can destroy the, the shield if your base damage... Well, if your damage... Ah, I failed. Finally got hit, it's been a while. So I need to have a strength of three to destroy a black skeleton shield, because black skeletons have three health, basically. Let's go this way. There's nothing at all. But here's a black thing. Um, obsidian axe, I'm not sure what axes do, but... Oh, here's our boss. Hi. Crap. At least black skeletons don't have a lot of damage. So obsidian items, the thing about these is that their strength depends on your current multiplier. So if you get hit, then tough, because you're going to lose most of your strength. We can go. We can go. Deep blues. So deep blues, you can see the pun. He's a chess boss. And so every turn, most pieces will move every turn, I guess. And when you kill everything else, he comes out. And since I've got two range, he's really easy. You know, ooh. Uh, I already have two defense. I don't need 1.5 defense. We're skipping the plot. Maybe another time. Zone 3. Things get harder. There's four zones or five. I think it's four. So the ice blocks make you slip. While the cinder blocks... What happens is that... Oh yeah, there's these annoying... Gremlin, purple gremlin guys, they're really annoying. So basically, you will lose your combo if you try to move when you're slipping on the nice block. And I accidentally press two arrows here, so. Here's our boss. I did that wrong. But I've got lots of armor, so I take very little damage. So we should be alright. So yeah, the purple gremlins, they either chase you or run away from you, so they're really difficult to just hit. Boo, doo, doo. One, 
two, three, four. Something in here. What is that? Use a shrine. Mystery weapon turns out the light. No thanks. Gain items, tough for enemies. I don't really need anything. Why is this door different? Oh, empty hard containers. That's pretty nice. What's that? Teleport enemies. I don't need this. Since I heal a lot, I can buy empty hard containers that have almost the same effect as regular ones. Messed up. I messed up. That's okay. So yeah, the way to bait, or to the way to kill the purple gremlins is to bait them. Stop moving. Sunglasses. Sunglass. What? These seem pretty bad. Unless they increase my damage, because now all the enemies are black. I don't want this. I don't want the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, so zone 3 has skeletons on horses. So you gotta kill the horse first and then the skeleton. But now you guys can't see anything, so if you don't know this game, you have no clue what's going on. I can dig through this. A glass shop. I don't need any of these. Can pretty much skip to the next level because the trap doors, you know. Oops, that was lame on my end. No, I, sh I need to stay here just to farm kills. Let's have a quick look at the shop. I need farm kills to heal. Uh, nothing, nothing interesting. Ooh, ooh, ah, what's that? It's a barrel, right? We can activate the barrel. Obsidian armor. It's not really better than what I have. Shrine of Peace. Lose. It makes me lose all my items, I think, but it gives me a lot of health. Still, not good enough. Where's the boss? I'm not sure where the boss is. No! Oh, it's the Banshee! We heard her scream. Having two range, lots of enemy gimmicks are kind of nullified. Including this banshee. Holy water. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Kill that gremlin. If you can squeeze a gremlin, it also works. Coral Riff. Uh, I should pause and look at chat and see what's going on. Oh, there's no audio playing on stream, for God's sake. Oh, is there? I should check. I should check. So many things happening. Um, there is no game audio. How about that? No. I cannot manage too many things at once. Is that? Yeah, that was game audio. Right? Right? Did I just play a normal run for nothing? Oh well, you got half of it. Here's the second half. Everything's dark. So Coral Riff, right, he sends you his tentacles or whatever, his instruments. And you gotta kill them fast enough. Otherwise they attack you. And then when you kill everything else, he comes out. But I've got so much damage. Oh, that hit me! Oh, okay. Too bad. No free item for me. Skip the plot. Maybe we'll... Well, if we do plot, we'll have to start from the beginning. Confusion spell. Are you serious? I've barely played any of that zone. Because it wasn't in the early access version of this game. So... Ooh! Some of these blocks make me smaller. 
and I can't attack. Confusion spell. Night guys, not much of a problem. I wish I could change these glasses away. Okay, okay, we're doing fine. I can hear a dragon. Can I dig this? No, I can't. Fun thing is, we don't know which kind of dragon it is. I think it's a blue dragon. There was a... Oh yeah, apple. Yum yum. I think it was a nice dragon, actually. Oh! That was the... That was the exit. So that was, ooh, okay. The spiders fall on you if you're too close. So... Uh, there's two bosses per level on this floor, maybe. This is a sh is this a shrine? Oh, monkey, monkey see, monkey do. Ah, bomb! Oh, bomb destroys. Bomb destroys gold, surprisingly. We heard some enemy open up a secret passage. Here's our boss. I don't know who it is, but ow! Something hit me a lot. Monocle. Ah! Finally, we can see the enemies again. Oh yeah. Ooh. Huh. Fake. Fake gold block. All right. All right. What are these hearts? I wonder what these hearts are. Cursed heart containers. That sounds fun. Let's get them. Not sure what they do at all. Armadillos again, huh? Okay. So the monocle lets me see what's inside a chest. This torch I think is better than the one I have right now. So how do I... Beat the spider exactly. Not like this, that's for sure. There you go. Multiplier based light. So, it's, well, it's a bit better than what I have, really. Stupid monkey. So what's in here? Transmogrify one of my items. Uh, they're all good, thank you. Oh, we're reaching the end of uh, the music. As you can see, the, the beats are getting red, so I, I need to rush to the end, otherwise I'll just get dropped to the next floor in an uncontrolled, probably bad place. So let's just go. Bomb dude, just rush away. There you go. There's a carrot in this, but I can't break this, I think. But I can lay a bomb. Eat the carrot. And a red dragon. Easy. So I got hit, I'm not sure why. I don't need any help. I do not need any help. You're fake. You can spot these mimic style fakes from miles away. So this statue just casts a wind spell all the time. So... What is this gigantic armor though? Ow! Some stuff happened. These guys parry your attacks. I'm not sure how they work. Alright, have a good amount of health. I just want to have a look at this huge armor. Prevents damage three times. It's not that good. It's really, I don't think it's that good. So let's just move on. Fortissimo. So I think now we've done most of the game, so now it's just bossy. Do, do. 
<laughs> is that like rap? I mean, it is rap. Oh, I should kill those skeletons though. So yeah, it's like I've got area of effect damage. There you go, kill the mole. And... There's a zone 5, right! So, what was it? So, early access version of the game, which is the one I play the most, had three zones. Then... Then the actual game had four, and then the expansion, which is what we're playing. I don't want a rifle. I like my blood rapier. And this is the expansion, Crypt of the Necrodancer Amplified. So I lost my cursed heart containers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure how all of this works. So the giant skull transforms into a bunch of skeletons. And we've got these current lines, whatever they are. What do you sell me? A big fat shovel. Big dig, plus one dig, plus one damage. Oh! That's how you act. I didn't know. Freeze. Nah. Can save our money. Money kind of acts like score. So, it's nice to have lots. Okay, the sparks, you don't need to kill them or anything. They just fly because they're a spell, they're not an enemy. I understand now. What is this thing? I don't know, but it's dead. There's gold over there. Let's just move on. Looks like I'm just hmm. playing this wrong. There you go. So the Gorgon just turns to stone. Torch of walls. What does it do? Reveals walls. That doesn't sound very good. Not sure why I got hit here. Wraith teleported? Okay. These guys, you just gotta hit them as soon as you're in their field of view. Because they dash towards you. Okay. I get it. I get it. Okay, 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 okay. I can dig for this. There's a ring. But, oh yeah. Get the ring if I just blow up the box with this bomb. Question marks. I don't want question marks. I like my ring of pain. I should bomb this to get access to the shop. I can get more health. Why not? Because actually, look at that. Stuff is happening. Not sure what. I don't have any boots. Do damage as you walk. But it hurt me to get them. I'm not sure that was worth getting. So some of my hard containers have been transformed into cursed ones. So the ice dragon doesn't fire in a straight line, but he can freeze you. Ah, white skull. Uh, by white, I mean yellow, of course. Okay, getting health. So I guess the cursed heart containers like disappear when you empty them. They're like bone hearts or something. I'm not sure. Take that. Good thing that was a wall I could dig through. I still got 
Holy water. Still not exactly sure what it does. Oh, crap. I messed that up. Okay, back to normal health. Die. Good. Whip, something I don't need either. There's something with the electric current as well. Do I want to get in there? Of course I do. That was easy. Can I push this? Yes, I can. Uh, gain shovel, bigger levels. No thanks. I think these night-ish guys, they take a turn to turn around. But if they don't turn, they can just go move once per turn. Wow, that's good for healing. Oh. Uh, we don't need the torch over there, but I can kill this weak zombie. Not sure why I lost a combo. Sometimes you don't. Crap. I'm playing this really bad. Really bad. I want to, I want to get some more health. But what happens if I bomb the shrine? Gives me, gives me the map. Oh, cool. So we've got a full map on the top left. All right, that went well. Killed about five enemies. One more kill, and I could get some health. But yeah, the guy's just right here. There you go. Dead ringer. Dead ringer. Now we're the the bosses are not random anymore. This is like a special boss. Do he summons old bosses or something? To be honest, I have no clue what just happened. No idea. Alright, let's keep. I was under his spell. <laughs> let's <was> keep. So <laughs> That's the end of the game. The sky is the necro dancer. So yeah, I mean the story of the game is he controls your heartbeat, so you have to move in rhythm. So what happens in here? You can you control both characters at once. The necro dancer. So all of a sudden the game is huge. Yeah. And here's a tutorial on how to control two characters at once. You gotta do things like that. So, Dad has a flail. And they do not share their health. Yeah, so the thing is, it's literally a puzzle, huh? You gotta just press these switch switches. Good thing we've got healing. Wow, I suck. So Necro Dancer Man just keeps say keeps saying reanimate. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Like first kill this guy and then one, two. Reanimate. Okay. What are these things? So what's wrong? I need this and I need that. Okay, this is This is insane. I need to get the magic loot. Oh, but only girl can get it. Cadence. Ah, 
So, okay, I can attack him now. No, because things are on the wrong side. There you go. So he takes one point of damage with the magic loose. I need to swap them. Enemies. Can't move. Okay, okay. Freeze. Yes, get hit. Get wrecked. Uh, why why did Cadence get hit? I still have the magic potion on Cadence though. So it's not that bad actually. Really not that bad. Okay. <laughs> he blew up the nightmare. Fuse spell just to make things easier. Ah! This is a tough game. Come on, one more hit! One more hit! <sighs> Woohoo, I beat Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Let's keep the golden loot. Yes! That's not really what I was intending to do. Now we can go back to playing on the dance mat. <laughs> there, plot is not interesting. Credits, oh no, don't tell me I have to go through the credits. No, I don't. I do not need to submit my score. Return to lobby. Okay. Whew. Let's switch back to the dance mat. So I have to turn the game off because it's really stupid. Fine. Fine. And then I have two change the resolution again. This game is not perfectly designed. Like, these are weird issues that they should be able to fix. So now you're probably hearing doubled music because I put it back on my speakers. But now music is gone. So, graphics, remove full screen. And resolution. Yes. Okay, continue game. So, 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 let's re enable the webcam. And there's no game audio. Oh, good thing I checked that. So it's all from the bike, but I'd rather have the game audio. Like this. Okay. Okay, so now you might be hearing slightly doubled audio. That's hopefully okay. And hello, webcam. And move the mic closer to my dancing position. It's not exactly dance, but whatever. And let's go. Do the crazy thing. So, dance mat, yeah, dance mat mode is dance pad, I guess is the thing they say. You start with high stats. High stats. The, the, the real, the hard thing with playing any video game with a dance pad. Is that. 
talking at the same time is also pretty difficult, but the thing is that you want to, to leave your foot in the same place and alternate feet, basically. You can't always do that. Is that... It's something. It's a shrine, what do we have? Shrine of Peace could be pretty good. Let's have a look, what does it do? Lose items, no, because I need those items. I, if you don't have your broadsword, like playing with dance mat is insane. The broadsword attacks all three, all three squares in front of you, whenever you move. And it allows you to have slightly less precise aiming. Now what's that? All items become glass. Please, no. Big safe bomb. Wow, that sounds amazing. Also, we can hear... We can see... Whoa, whoa. Surprise. So this is a mimic, just to make things more complicated. Okay, I don't really need an apple. But I don't really... Well, freeze charm is pretty good, actually. Another one. Two free spells are better than one. I think we should just move on and not explore too much. I can hear... I can hear it. Where are you? Bosses, here he is. Nope. I died. I died and went to heaven. So the, the red dragon does three damage per hit. So as soon as I make this kind of mistake, we're just done. Let's go. And just no oh crap. Just never lose. Got my heal spell. Heal heals you for half a heart. And you need 15 kills to recharge it. Wow. Coupon. I guess it's a free item. I can't I can't see from this distance. not to rush into enemy attacks in this in this mode. Accidentally used heal, and when you don't have all the enemy skill, it costs the heart to, to cast the spell. So, you know, I pay the heart to get one and a half, but that's not good. Uh, these boots are probably pretty nice. And I'm not sure what the cursed heart containers do, but they contain hearts. You know that. Left, left, ah! I need help. Okay, gonna get. Can you give me arm. Oh, crap. Oh, great. Ah! I'm having trouble pressing left. I do not want to win. Mm, 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 mm. 
did that. Well, I did it wrong, but it worked kind of. I don't have a bomb. Oh, a shot. Give me health. Give me health. No, but a huge armor, but I definitely can't use it. The rapier. I might go. Let's go for both weapons. Okay, so the holster. Wait. There you go. So pressing left and right lets me switch my weapon. So the rapier has a huge advantage of the two range. So now I. And I can still walk into enemy attacks, but it's not that much of a problem. This yellow skeleton will never exist. You just get pushed away by the traps every time. Okay. What's that? Blood flame. Flazer! Oh, it's a bit complicated to use. Ah. Heal? I said heal. Okay. Ghost. That wraith. Okay, skeletons. And a diamond. So diamonds can be used to unlock items from out from outside the ground. Just alternate left and right. Except for the zombies. Surprisingly enough, I'm not dead. Ah! Can you heal me? Death Metal! Death Metal! I haven't seen this guy. This boss, the main idea is, goes really fast and there's tons of enemies to kill. That's about it. Also, he has a shield. Well, he killed me. He killed me one like like that. Boom. Uh, let's do one more run, then I'll switch to something else. Oh, let's spend our diamonds. Fine. You want me to unlock things? Are there even any things to unlock? Yeah. I got shield time or something. So I'm, I'm moving on the keyboard now, of course. Extra mode. Dance pad mode. Apparently it's easier. I mean, we know it's easier, but man, it's still way harder than the actual game. Let's move the mouse cursor away. And let's go. Oh. Black chests always give I mean, that's what I have. They give weapons and armor. So they, they are more interesting than these generic red and gold chests, which give basic items. But bomb immunity and three bombs, now that is something. Now I can just bomb like that, and I'm protected. I can buy both of these things. Oh, but I got no money. Let's get some money, guys. I want like 45, I think. I'm at 26. Oh, there's a skeleton. I didn't even see it. So if a monkey catches you, you're in trouble. Okay. I should kill. Bye. Bye. Eat. So overall we got the net benefit of one half one container and putting it halfway. And this gold. I 
like to like be able to beat the first big boss on dance pad mode. Uh, no, no way, no way. So, oh, I I have the the helmet. Was that shield spell? Probably protects me for two turns or something. That's gonna be invaluable against the boss. Wow, that was lucky. Fast second floor. So there's a bunch of bats. That's your thing. Okay. Let's go right. I could just drop myself. Oh no, there's stuff. Okay, shield. Because, so yeah, this is what happens. So when you fall to the next floor through a trapdoor, very often you will just land into a dangerous room like that one. So, good thing I had this shield spell, otherwise I'd be done for. Because remember the red dragon from before? Three hearts per hit. So now I should be smart and use my bombs. Because my objective is to beat death metal. Not much more. everything but I won death was always coming <gasps> on his beat death metal heck yeah this time he seemed more excited he said he'd found it some great treasure when I was older I found the like getting the, the plot piece by piece directions to a graveyard uncle Eli tried to stop me but dad had been gone for two years I had to find him yes indeed forgot to say because I'm the main character oh wait not everyone oh okay I can accept that so dance pad mode ends after one boss but then I don't know why they would give you the cutscene that's weird that is weird anyway that was fun but now I, I want to See if we can try the crazy thing. Enough of this game for now. Uh, I haven't even tried this, but... Can I play Toho with this? The dance mat. So. So, so. I, I'm not actually sure. Oh, wait, no. Whoop. Why doesn't it work? I Did I play? I played Toho 7 on this PC, right? Maybe not. Do I have a working Toho right now? That is the question. Usually the Toho, which is really friendly, is Imperishable Night. Which it does open. And I can put it in windowed mode. And then it crashed. No, here it is. Uh, it's really freaking loud though. It's really freaking loud. So, 
Uh, first thing is I should put this in OBS. Oh, you can see it actually. But the resolution is wrong, of course. So we're gonna have to switch that. Can I even switch resolution? No. I have to turn the stream off and on again. So give me a sec. Okay, stream is back on. Stream is back on. I'm gonna put the webcam here. But can I key config? Is that a thing? How do I even configure things? I'm not sure. Shot. I'm not even sure how you do configure this. Oh, I, I should. Huh. So it does recognize my USB controller. But it does not recognize the dance mat. But I can just use Joy 2 key, right? I can just use Joy 2 key. So, alright, please, please be patient. I'm gonna turn the volume down even more because this game is loud as heck. And I'm gonna do it in game. Much better. What? How did this end at 31? I don't know. So, joy to key. Download. I do not want to license. I'm going to put it on my desktop just to make things faster. You don't need to know this. But you know it anyway. Here's a tracked mode, heck yeah. So the thing the thing I'm thinking is that focus I should probably just play without focus. Play as Raymu. And And have auto shooting enabled. So all right, I can I can use Joy Two Key. So let's put our arrows properly. So this this is gonna be crazy, but it's gonna be fun as well. Wait, nope. Okay, yes, things are working. That, this is left. You don't need to see Joy 2 key. Down. All right. So I got my arrows. I think what I'm gonna do is like put my keys on the shot key. Are they heavy enough? No. I need something to auto shoot. Uh, how do you guys think I can auto shoot? I'm not actually sure, but yeah, we don't want to focus, but I do want to bomb. So I'll put bomb on the back right button for no reason. I just feel like it. All right, guys, help me out. Help me out, chat. How can I, how can I auto shoot? I can configure it for for the game, huh? Is that custom? Um. No, is it inside the game? No. 
Let, let, let me keep googling things then. Uh, imperishable night auto shoot. Otherwise, I can like hold the controller. I can do that. That's silly as heck, but I can. So joystick one, I'm gonna hold it with my left hand. And this thing is gonna be shoot. Okay, guys, we can play now. So I, I wanna check that things, yeah, you can see me. Actually, I can turn the webcam a little bit more. This is my first time. Next times will be better. Okay. Let's try this. This is gonna be fun. So, start, easy mode, border team. Let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I should check that sound works. And I should put the microphone in the proper spot. So let me check. We're getting game sound. And that the balance is pretty good. Yeah, it's it's okay. So we're gonna restart. And we're gonna go. So remember in Toho, if you don't have to move, do not move. I want to get my homing shots. You get your homing shots at 8 power. I'm pretty sure normal is too hard, so I'm sticking with easy. So the problem this game will have much more than Necro Dancer is that when I do not want to move, I have to put both my feet back in the middle. For now, there's no problem because nothing's basically shooting. Here's Wriggle Nightbug! Okay, so just don't move. Rely on your homing. I'm gonna move here. Could almost. It's probably a benefit to play no vertical or only vertical, just so that you have fewer dimensions to think about. But is Imperishable Knight easy? Too, too easy? We have to see the later stages. Because, I mean, come on. Nothing shoots. Nothing shoots. All right, Riggle. You can even do that sometimes. A little bit of shotgunning. Yeah, so we're going to macro dodge everything, of course, since we're not even focusing. I guess I could put focus on the controller as well. That would be a fun, a fun way of playing, kind of a mix of both things. Where the, the dance mat is only the directions. Oh, really? And what's Bomber? Yeah, Bomber's over there. That would be interesting. Also, I might end up timing everything out. I haven't thought about that. No, we're gonna, cl gonna clear it. Did I, did I clear it? I think I did. I think I did. Move out of the way. This is gonna kill me. <laughs> That's not bad. I don't have the time points requirement. Too bad. But if I capture this, I might end up having it though. Okay, this. <laughs> yeah, so the thing with the dance pad, apparently, it's harder to gently tap than an actual key or something. <laughs> so you move a minimum amount always. Well, I mean, it's something to learn. 
captured! And I don't have the time points requirement. Oh well. Stage two, let's go. Wait, I should pause and see if chat wants more volume or something. Uh, no one is saying anything. Let's just keep playing. All right, uh, I need those items. But I'm not gonna go back and forth. Well, no. Also point items. You know, they give lives in this game. Oh, here's a bomb. Something I won't need at all. No! <laughs> Max power, but here's a big P. Here's a big P. Ta da! Yeah, getting some time points. Not that many, actually. <laughs> Not that many. All right, Mister. I've seen you in a game called The Disappearing of Genso Kyo recently. A game which I, I do intend on playing more once I regain control of my right hand. If I can fix my controller. Oh, but this the spread of this shot type is getting annoying. Oh crap! Well, actually do this vertical and you're fine. Except here. Easy might not be too easy. Easy might not be too easy. Let's go. Oh, better position this is. Ah! Death bombs are gonna be tough to do. I'm safe, I'm not safe. Should do the string properly and do it like that. Easy peasy, man. Look at this. I'm a real pro. Yeah. Now what? Don't move. Do not move. I'm gonna need to move out of this. Then. Not even. This is. This is easier than Icicle Fall. I mean, it's not a spell card. Oh wait, this might be a... No, it's not. It's never. It looks like it is, and then it's not. Easier than Icicle Fall. Okay, now... Now, with the blinding, and this is really an attack which requires focus. So... Hmm. I'm getting pushed to the left, but it's almost done. To the right. Yep. Yep. Perfect level two. Can we do it? If I capture this, I might get enough time points. If I capture this, I might get enough time points. For the extra spell. Okay, now. And... And, yes, enough time points. Except not. Oh, maybe because in easy mode you don't get those. In easy mode you don't get the extra spell cards. Oh, that's too bad. Does chat have anything to say? Nope. Yeah, there's no last spell. Too bad. 
Okay, so... I think Imperishable Knight is the easiest of the easy modes. But the problem is, since I, uh, you know, I got the idea of doing this dance pad thing yesterday and haven't had any time to prepare, so right now the games don't actually work on my computer. Otherwise I would have played PCB probably. But I remember reading that Imperishable Knight Easy was literally nothing. And yeah, and this is going to hit me though. But maybe the end of the game will be hard enough. We can hope. We can help. Oh, I should like POC to stop. <laughs> no, do not POC at that time. Huh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not used. I'm not a, a perfect dance map player. So sometimes I will want to press something. I totally death bomb that. Look at this. Maybe easy is not too easy. I mean, it's it's a uh, you know, it's it's an accident thing. And since I can't really get point items, I'm gonna not get many extra life. That's a nice spell card. She gives me an extra life, right? Yes, please. I missed the big power item. One twenty-three. There you go. I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna have to move. Go up. Does she, can she wriggle kick you during her boss? I don't think she can. Well, before her boss. Fight. Let's go! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna macro dodge this. As we said. However, next time I play, I will totally use focus on the controller. That will be fun. Uh, especially because, well, God bless vertical movement sometimes. <laughs> yes! Captured! I should POC this whenever it happens. Okay, I'm not safe here. I'm not safe here, but this is fine. pretty well. This is safe. This is safe. Yep. That was a gamble. This is not safe. This is not safe. Yes, I got it. Time this out. Or not? Yes! That went well. We had three stages. And we're doing pretty bad on the time points. That's okay. That means we just can't face uh, Kaguya. I almost went to the POC but do not have the balls in the end. Do -do 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 -do.
We soon had 250 points, which means a free life. Well, not free. All but free. I got this life. I deserve it. Right shoot towards me. I'm gonna move later. Yes! How did I do that? Hitbox hacks. POC, POC, get both! Yes! Whew. Man, my toes, my feet. Move and I'll shoot! I meant shoot and I'll move. I remember this nonsense. Da 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 da. We're playing against Marissa! Okay, okay, left, boom! I think I was actually saved, but man, give me a break. Magic Milky Way. Huh. Okay, this is, this is more difficult than what we've had so far. And accident, I did not intend to bomb here. Wow. Except I got hit, because we can see I used two bombs, so... Accidental bomb was appreciated. But no, because it was Rainbow's bomb, and I don't focus. Oh, I tried. I tried. Good to learn your hitboxes. Uh, what next? Lasers? No, Starless Reverie. I have to get inside this. Sorry, I can't, I can't. I can't do this <laughs> without focus. And bombs in this game are just not so strong. She's gone! <laughs> what? Oh, accident. Huh. You know, despite me using a heavy chair to prevent the dog's mat from moving, it actually is moving. And that's why I, I got an accidental bomb. I still have two bombs, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I wish I could focus here. <laughs> ah, ah, too slow. Too slow. Again, wait. All right. I mean, we're almost at the end of this run because I'm about to die, but I need to reset this in a better place. Let's go. Yeah, I will not use continues. Continues are for losers. Because I'm a loser. Because I. Ooh! Lost. But not apparently. Da 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 da! Uh, lasers! Let's go! How do I dodge this? Like that. Nope. But I bombed. So we might be able to go through this attack. No, cannot. No continue. I got this score. Whew. That was something. That was something. But, okay, we're done. That's enough for today. That's an hour and a half long stream. Not too short. Not too long ago. So, I hope whoever watched this enjoyed it. 
I'll probably try again and try to get better. And use focus on the controller. I think that's a fun idea. Because it kind of makes up for the fact that the directions are a lot to, to think about already. I might put a bomb button on the controller too. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out another time. For now, thanks for watching. And see you in the future. Also, you can see my back. Fantastic.